Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at another deck from Shining Legends. This is going to be Shining Rayquaza. Now, Shining Rayquaza is a pretty cool card, and I feel like it's going to be a decent um, decent card to see in the future. Um, it's basically going to be played with Magnazone. I have this other deck idea with this in mind. Um, I might make a video on that, we'll see. But Shining Rayquaza is a really cool card. And it has this really good attack called Sky Judgment for 4 energies, which is a lot, but we'll talk about how easy it is to do the attack in a minute. So, for fire and 3 energies, you do 190 damage, so you're going to do a lot of damage. You're going to one-shot a lot of GXs like Tapu Lele, right? But you're also going to be discarding energy, so there's got to be some kind of synergy with this attack. And of course, luckily we have a Pokemon that does this perfectly. Ya boy, Magnezone. Magnezone's got the ability Magnetic Circuit. It's often like during the turn before you attack, you may attach a light energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So obviously you're going to just use Magnezone's ability to build up your Rayquaza, and you're going to do that every turn to attack. Now it is three energies, which is a lot of energy to be fair. That's not something that's going to be very easy to build up. But we're going to try and make it work. Sky Judgment can do a lot of damage. With a Choice Band, you're going to be knocking out big Pokemon like Golisopod, Ninetales, the Evolutions like Umbreon and Espeon and Sylveon, which is pretty good. And you're going to be 10 short of a KO on Gardevoir, which is kind of funny, actually. Um, there are going to be ways we can get around that, of course, with stuff like Professor Kikui, and even other things like um, Tapu Koko, which can just blind flip finish off for later. And yeah, Rayquaza is a pretty decent card. The only negative is you do need a lot of energy to attack. You need multiple energies, so you have to put two different energies on it, a fire and a lightning, which is kind of clunky. There's no double dragon energy in the format anymore, which also kind of hurts. But you know what? 190 damage I think is worth it to try and attack with this. It only has 120 HP, which is actually kind of weak for this Pokemon. I mean, it's doing 190 damage and it's only got 120 HP. Kind of sad. We're going to still try and make it work. It is a little fragile. It's a bit of a glass cannon to say the least. It's fine though. We got enough lightning support to help back it up. Magnezone isn't a bad card to attack with either in all honesty. We have Tapu Koko GX in the deck. It provides a good GX attack with Tapu Thunder. It can be very good against like something like Darkrai or like, something even like Gardevoir GX. Which we're already going to struggle with. So Tapu Koko can come in and just wreck him with Tapu Thunder. Sky High Claws isn't bad either. It's not going to take a lot of one shots because it's only doing 130. But it can do it for, you know, the time being. It's not a bad attack. We also have Baby Coco. Um, one of the big things about this, we have Flying Flip. Now, again, Rayquaza can only do 190. And with a Choice Band, you're only going to do 220 damage. So you're going to be 10 short of a knockout on Gardevoir GX. And then you're going to Flying Flip them and finish them off for later on. Because maybe your opponent will try and save their Gardevoir for later and put it on the bench. So that gives you an opportunity to just Flying Flip it for later on and KO it. So Flying Flip can come in handy here. We have Electric Ball, which technically can work even though it's not really that good when Magnezone could do the same thing, but even better, has more HP, but it's whatever. We have our two Leleys, of course, for Wonder Tank. We're going to need that ability. We also have Energy Drive, which can work really nice with Magnezone. You can put a bunch of energies on Lele with Magnezone's ability, and then Lele can do a lot of damage too, so you have Lele also for a backup attacker. We're going to be running a 2-2 Octillery line. The reason for this is because we're going to be discarding a lot of energy off of our Equaza after attacking. So to consistently attack with that, we have Abyssal Hand to help us flow through the deck a little bit and draw the cards we need. Because after we do Rayquaza's attack, we're going to need to draw some cards in order to keep consistency going. Like, we need to find our energy retrievals, we need to find a Fisherman, we need to find our energy to be able to keep building up Rayquaza every single turn. So Octillery is going to help us with that, with the ability Abyssal Hand. I mean, Magnemite's pretty good too, it's got Sparkling Induction, it's a good ability. If you have two Magnemites in play, one on the active, one on the bench, the active is going to be able to retreat for free, which is really useful. So, Magnemite's even good. We're not going to be playing Magneton, we're just going to straight up go Rare Candy. Kind of build this deck list off of, like, the Pikachu Magnezone deck that's been getting some buzz recently. So, we'll go into the items here. We got 3 Energy Retrieval, this is how we're going to be able to build up our Rayquaza every single turn. It's not a supporter, so it's not going to waste our Fisherman. Which is part of the turn, sometimes we might want to end, do Professor Kikui. You know what I mean? So, we got energy retrieval. Um, four might be better, we're going to go three today. We got two field blowers, again, Garb Odor can be a problem, since it shuts down Magnezone. Without Magnezone, the deck falls apart, so we're going to need that ability back. One Professor's Letter, this is great to grab two energies out of the deck, but sometimes even to grab that fire energy 
because we obviously play more lightning energy than fire energy. Professor Letter can help us grab the fire. We got four rare candies to be able to go straight into Magna Zone. It just keeps it super consistent. Four candies. I was thinking of going with three before, but I found four to be the obvious best way to go. It's just it, it's it, it's better odds of getting Magna Zone to play, right? So we're gonna play four candies. We're gonna move on to Super Rod. Again, it gets you energy back. Stretcher is good too if you want to go Stretcher, but I find Super Rod better because sometimes you also want to get your energy back. We have a lot of ways to get our energy back in general, but Rod will help us even more. Four Ultra Balls to search out what we need. We've got our Bridget. Turn one Bridget's important here to get a couple Magnemites down and a Remoraid. We've got two Fishermen. Fishermen is how we are going to get back a lot of energy to attack, again, with Rayquaza. Two Guzmas. Again, we're going to be relying on Fishermen and stuff. We don't really need to Guzma all the time. It isn't good to have, obviously, being able to have that Lysander effect's nice too. Um, so obviously we're going to need Guzma. Four Rens for draw support. Very nice when you're using a lot of non-EX Pokemon and non-GXs. One Kikui. This is how we're going to knock out Gardevoir. We need to knock out Gardevoir. We have Kikui. The option's there. Choice Band, Professor Kikui. Gardevoir goes down. Or we can play it in general. If we don't have a Choice Band, we can use it to knock out a Glissapod or Ninetales or something. Two Sycamores. I feel like two is fine. We have Octillery. We have a lot of engines with Fishermen. We don't really need Sycamore. So we're going to be playing two. Fine two, fine. Well, we need it, but you know, I think we can get away with just playing like a slim amount of just two. Um, we got two choice bands to be able to do more damage. We are going to be running one belt. This is good because then Rayquaza is doing 200. Again, something like Garboder. This is important. Gives you more HP. Also, it lets you still knock out like an Espeon GX in one shot, which is kind of good. And it gives your Rayquaza more HP, making it a little more bulkier, which is why I like it. One Floatstone. It's needed for Octillery. It's needed for Magnetone. But with all the ways we can get energy back and get energy in play, it's not like we really need to play any more than one Floatstone. We got three fire energies to attack with Rayquaza. I find three better than two. Two is good because with all the energy retrievals and fishermen and super rod, you don't really need any more than two in my opinion. We're still gonna run three so that we can at least guarantee we have a better odds of hitting that fire energy so we can try and get an earlier sky judgment off. And we got nine lightning energy. Nine is good since we only really need the three lightnings, even two if you want to put another fire energy on. So I think nine is a good amount of lightning energy for this deck. And yeah, this is my Magnazone, Shining Rayquaza deck. Let's go find some matches with the deck on PDC Joe. See this deck in action, and let's see if it's going to be a fun little rogue deck for the future. Alright guys, let's go find some matches with this deck. Now, the thing with this deck, I feel like I'm going to try and find matches where even if we don't succeed very well, I still want to show it. Because I believe this deck does have some rogue potential going on, but I do feel like the deck is still kind of not that good to pull off you'll you see what i mean when i do it because when i play test of the deck i found myself maybe this deck isn't as great i think it'll be a good row so if we do get some bad matchups i kind of want to see if maybe we can show the deck in its purest form whether or not we can win or not right we'll, we'll put up a fight again i think rayquaza is good but the fact that it's so weak with 120 hp in my opinion makes rayquaza just not very good and hopefully this lag does not Screw me over. I'm gonna have to quickly. I guess it's my phone. Of course it's my phone. No. Oh, don't disconnect me, please. Don't disconnect me. I think we're good. I think. Okay, as long as it doesn't disconnect me here. I don't know. Okay, there we go. It's gone. It must have been. I think it was my phone. I don't know. Like, I heard this rumor that if your phone's close to your computer, it causes internet. I don't even. I. Whatever. Wait. My internet sucks. Okay, just get to the point. It's why I don't stream that much anymore. Half the time when I stream, it gets disconnected very early on. Because like we're up against Waterbox, which might be bad, depending if they can keep up pressure. Rayquaza does one-shot Lapras, but yeah, it gets one-shotted in return. So this is why I don't like Rayquaza all that much. Just the fact that it has such low HP really kills it, in my opinion. But yeah, we're going to try and show it off whether or not we win or lose. We're still going to show off this deck, and we'll see if it has potential or not. This Ultimately, what I want to do this video, I don't really do that. I like showing decks in their purest form where they're winning and kicking butt. But with this deck, I feel like I have to show some of its low points. So, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, we can at least win. But again, I don't think we'll win against Waterbox. I don't feel comfortable with this matchup. He could even tap Ufini and Magnum Zone at some point, depending if he plays it or not. We'll see. I don't know what to go for here if I want to bridge it or Sycamore. I think I'm just going to go Sycamore. I think Sycamore is the right play here. Just dump the hand. He's got two waters. He's probably got Aqua Patch in his hand. That's why I don't like Water Box. 
with three quays. I think this matchup is just not good. As if, if they can keep up Lapras, there's nothing you can do. You're going to lose, and I think we are going to lose. I don't see how we're going to win. Like, I just genuinely don't see how we're going to win this match. I, I like thinking ahead. Usually when I play, I think ahead. Um, usually why I, pre I concede prematurely, but I do think ahead a lot of the times when I'm playing this game. I do not see how we're going to, especially with this awkward hand, I don't see how we're going to win. This guy plays two Rangaroo, that says it all. We're not going to win this match. We're just not going to win. We're going to lose. Yes, he told you. Best thing we can do is get double Remoraid. Um, okay, we got okay, we got two rays in the deck. Good to know. And I guess we're just gonna have the Sycamore here. It's fine. I don't mind that. We're not gonna attack him, so I think it's best to grab a second Magnemite in case one goes down. I want to try and go into like a Tapu Coco here. Just maybe Coco, if we can find it, we can force him to have to Blizzard burn it, knock it out. So and we can Super Rod back in energy. I guess we can field blow. I don't mind that. You, know, you can cower dice and then put another Pokemon down. Might as well. Would have been nice to get rid of something else. Like if you play Spinning Fury Bolt. We went pretty hard there. I do say so myself. I could Ultra Ball grab Coco now. Cause I feel like I need this Fury Tree with Magnemite. I'm gonna if I go Rare Candy Magnezone here, I'm not gonna have a. Uh, thing but maybe I can tapu thunder him next turn but we can try that I guess we can try that we'll see how this goes yeah we'll pass we can magnezone we can try and tapu thunder him I think that's it's the only way we can get rid of this laugh pass right now is by tapu thundering him like Rayquaza I don't think we're able to pull it off he's gonna end me I kind of figured he'd do that and we'll see if his Lapras attacks me. He needs to find one of his energy switches, which, you know what? He's probably going to because, let's be real here, it's going to happen. Okay, this is actually a really good hand. Double choice ban. Okay, that's fine. And a collect. Okay, this is good. Um, unfortunately, we can't knock him out with Tapu Thunder, though. He's <laughs> got three energies in play, but anything is possible. We can get rid of these two choice bans. I don't know if he plays Belt. I don't think he would, but yeah, if he does, there you go best part about this is we can dump this entire hand I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm just gonna discard the light energy here because if maybe we can possibly attack him with Rayquaza this turn I think we can I think we'll go for it we can maybe knock him out this turn it's possible I should have floats yikes I sh okay wait okay yeah never mind I should have floats on the active I'm gonna have to put a third magnemite down I should have floats on the active what am I doing Okay, maybe if we can find enough energy, we might be able to pull off, because we'll need a retreat. I should have floated the active! Oh, that's not good. Double man. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. This forces him to have to not ice beam me. Force him to take me out Blizzard Burn. I guess, I don't know. We'll end him. Maybe we can Thunder Blast him. I, I don't mind that, actually. Okay. <laughs> we can keep up momentum with draw, I guess. Actually, this isn't bad. This isn't. Yeah, it's actually going fine. I like the Octillery. I like the Octillery. I know there's some lists I don't think that played Octillery. I don't know. I didn't look up any Shiny Rayquaza videos, but I don't know if anyone else played Octillery, but if you didn't, you're, you're missing out on how good this deck is, even though we're out of Ultra Balls now. Something to note if we ever need Ultra Ball for Coco or, you know, another Rayquaza. Oh, rip. It's just one Lightning, too. We aren't finding much energy here that we can use, and I hope he doesn't have a Guzman here. So, we're going to have to pass and pray he doesn't have a Guzma. If he has a Guzma, guys, this is not good. Praying he doesn't have one. If he does, we lose Rayquaza. That'll suck. We'll see what happens, of course. Let's hope he doesn't have it. He's got Guzma. Oh, no. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to play against this. Or why this matchup sucks. Because, look, now Lapras is already rebuilt up. There's nothing I can do. There's two Laprases built up in play. If I take one out, one's, he's going to knock me out. I don't like that. Okay, good. No Guzma. Okay, so it looks like this Lapras should hopefully go down. Though I kind of want to keep the old Magnezone. Probably better to keep the Octillery, though, so it's fine. Maybe we can draw another Magnezone. If we can draw into a other Rayquaza here, I wouldn't mind that. Because then we can attach another Energy and get two Rayquazas down. Okay, an Energy. That's not bad.
Hmm. We just get the energy retrieval, don't we? It's only one energy, but after that we just need one energy and then we cannot come out. So that's fine. Thins our hand out too, so that's cool. Oh, I almost attached it. Oh, that would have been not good. No, nah, it wouldn't have been good. Alright, so. Guess we'll abyssal hand for one. I'm gonna try and maybe hit a Rayquaza here. That'd be nice. I doubt it though. Yeah, okay. We got a knockout. Should I keep this hand? I think I'm gonna have to end and try and find another way to attack him here. Maybe we can knock him out with Coco next turn. He's probably gonna try and put more energy in place. Maybe we can find Coco. Mmm! I like what I see. I mean, I could knock him out right now. Force him to find a, have to find a choice band. I kind of prefer that over knocking him out with Rayquaza here. Should I? Okay, why is this timer taking down? I haven't been that AFK. Should I just knock him out with Tapu Thunder here? Or should I respond with the Tapu Thunder knockout? I think that's better because we're taking more prizes that way. So let's do it. We'll take him out with Ray here. I mean, we have Letter. So, how many energies in the discard? I don't think we have any, right? And I can probably just get away with putting an extra energy in play. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're in Coco. So, it's cool. Uh, I'm going to search the deck really quickly. See what we got left. We still have our Rayquaza, still have an Energy Retrieval. We got uh, one Guzma in the deck, so one's prized. Five Energy. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. We also have Lele too, which Lele with uh, Megzone can be pretty good. So, we're going to take him out Sky Judgment. We're going to knock him out, and then we can hopefully finish him off with Tapu Koko here. He needs to put one Energy in play. If he doesn't, I don't know what we can do right away. At least we're end proof. Hey! Ooh, looks like we can can one shiny Rayquaza instead. Maybe, 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 but honestly, we're probably gonna be able to pull it off. Still have one of our fishermen, right? Okay, good. Just making sure. We need to make sure, but oh another Lapras. At least he's only taking one prize here. Max Lixir is probably gonna hit. If he builds up another Lapras, I'm scared. How many Aqua Patches? Two. Bruh. Oh my gosh. This is going to make things a little more tricky. Professor Kikui, he can Ice Beam me. I mean, I guess that's relevant. At least he can't end me now. Max Potion? Bro, why do you play that in your deck? At least he Choice Banded. This actually is good, because I don't think he has one left. So, he won't be able to knock out my Tapu Koko. Unless he... Okay, let's see if he goes for Ice Beam. Oh, no, he's going to What am I saying? Choice Band doesn't affect Rayquaza. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, at least he's got four energy in play. That's... Well, he's got way more than four, but you know what I mean. I think I'll just take my other Quaza. Coco can be a late game finisher. Maybe. I think that's fine. Okay, definitely a late game finisher because he's putting so much energy in play now. I don't know why. Why is he bur Does he not have a stretcher or something? What is he doing? I mean, he's trying to play Co uh, a Rangaroo, but it's still kind of weird. Okay. That's fine. This is good, though. We'll knock him out with Rayquaza. This way we can... Yeah, we'll knock... Okay, that's cool. And uh, thankfully, Letter gives us just what we need to knock him out. Plus, we have Lele, so we can grab, I think, our Fisherman's in the deck. I mean, I'll check after this. But we'll knock him out. He's got so much energy in play, Coco's going to finish him off. And then at that point, win the game. We can. I didn't think we'd honestly be able to win this. I honestly thought this wasn't going to go very well, but nope. Honestly, this is what I get for uh, complaining a little bit, guys. Honestly, it's what I get. And, ooh. That's good. All right, let's search the deck really quickly. Okay, two energies. Okay, we're good. And uh, we will Sky Judgment. And yeah, all we need to do now is think about Coco. And uh, we win the game, so we'll see what happens next turn depending on what he does. But we should be good to win. We'll Lele for our Fisherman. And yeah, we're probably going to get energy out of the prizes, I think. Okay, that works. Energy retrieval. I think that's game, unless he attacks me with a Ranguru to play it safe, that's not going to matter because we'll lay lay Guzma, double energy retrieval, and win the game. I didn't think we'd be able to pull off a win, I'm super, I was super discouraged about this match, but honestly, I'm surprised it uh, worked. Oh, we can knock out Magnezone. Oh, I jumped the gun there, I jumped the gun. We have no way to get Magnezone back in play. Oh, son of a pickle. Bruh, why was I so cocky? Oh no. We can knock out Wishy Washy, I guess. It doesn't matter though. <sighs> that cockiness though. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I guess.
Ranguru's. We can't even end him because he's Ranguru's. Right, send a three. It's not like a Ranguru can draw anything. Hmm. I, does he have any energy left? He's got six in play, four, he's got ten total. I don't know if he plays any. Maybe we can like trap a Ranguru in the active and try and buy some time. Yeah, we're gonna have to sacrifice an Octillery here, trap a Ranguru in the active. Maybe it'll buy us some time? I don't know. I don't know if he has any energy left. Coco's only lightning energy too, right? Yeah, crud. Alright, we'll put him down now. Man, I was too cocky there, guys. I'm sorry, I was so cocky. <sighs> oh my gosh, the cockiness took over my mind. I can't really, yeah, I can't do Dragon's Pulse. I might be able to. Alright, Octillery, you are going to be sacrificed for the greater good. Oh, wh why didn't I do... Man, I could just sacrifice it, but then he can just Ice Beam me, and then he still has Blizzard Burn. We're definitely not going to be able to get another Magnazone in play. So, yeah, I think it's fine to sacrifice. I mean, maybe that 40 damage is relevant? Oh, I could bring out Lele. Lele could take a hit, but I'd rather not go down two prizes. Because then, yeah, and then he can just Ice Beam Octillery with his other Guzma. So I think it's best to sacrifice Rayquaza here. I think Rayquaza has become pretty useless at this point. That's our last Guzma, too. I don't know if that matters, but it's fine. We'll pass. Try and build up a Coco here. And we'll finish off the game with Tapu Koko. I don't think he has any choice bands left. Worst he could do is Ice Beamy. I don't know, maybe that's relevant. So let me play the two Guzmans. Oh no, my cockiness. My cockiness took over. It might just, it might have, I don't think it's going to cost me the game, but it might. Okay, he did have an energy rip. Yeah, he has 11, okay, so... I think we're still okay though, because Coco will attack him next turn. Bring out Octillery. I yeah, I don't think he can take out Lele here. He could Ice Beam me. Let's see if he has a Guzma left. Um, I need to increase the Ultimate John into Energy. I'm just gonna get back two Lightnings. I don't even care. I'm just gonna end myself the two. We have a rank with my rank with Octillery, so we're gonna end him here, and uh, we're gonna just hope for the best for next turn. I don't know if he has a Guzma to ice. If he ice beams me, it's over. I can't believe I was so cocky. My cockiness, bruh. The cockiness. The cockiness might have just cost me the game. Mm. Yeah, Magnemite. Okay, yeah, there's no way. I think we have a Super Rod and a Magnemite prize. I don't even know. Alright, this is it. If he has Guzma, I think we lose because he can ice beam me and then I can't do much after that. Please don't tell me you have 12 energies in your deck. Oh my gosh, he does. Why he plays 14? Please don't have a second Guzma. Oh, he doesn't. Maybe he does, but I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he does. <laughs> Bruh, this is so bad. Oh no. The cockiness took over. There's nothing I can do. If I had a Guzma, we'd be able to win the game. That's what I got for playing two. That's so embarrassing, bro. At least we got 60 coins out of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got too cocky. Oh no. I know right, we guys, let's go find another game with our deck here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do not like this deck. I do not I This deck has not been working for me. I don't think it's my list, because I base this list off of the Pikachu Magnezone deck. And I'm not having good luck with this deck. I am not enjoying this deck. I don't know, man. I don't know. We can't even beat Waterbox. Even when the deck gets going, we still lose. Again, that was because I was cocky. That was my, all my fault we lost that game against Flat Press, obviously. I didn't play it. I That's the thing, right? Playing the Magnezone, you got to be smart, and you got to use your energy when you have it. You can't just hold on to it and hope your Magnezone lives. That's, that was the biggest mistake I made. There you go, you guys can learn from my mistakes if you want to play Magnezone, but yeah. This deck has just not been treating me very well today, I'll say that right now. It has not been treating me well at all. It's been driving me off the wall. I'm gonna try and get a game where, like, I can get things going, but I don't, you know, of course it's Garboder. 
Okay, Bridget's prized, I am going to be very sad. Okay, good. Imagine if Bridget was prized there. Whew. At that point, I would have lost my marbles. So, we're going to grab two Magnemite and Rayquaza. And we're going to pass. So, at least we have a god tier hand. Though I know we're, we already know. I already, what am I saying? I already know we're getting an end. But we have a god tier hand, even though we're going to get an end. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. This deck has not been treating me very well recently or today, but you know, things might be turning around for the better. The only problem is playing against Garboder, which is a bad matchup. Espeon, though, we can beat thanks to Choice Band and Fighting Fury Belt. Trash Lanch is a pain in the butt. Garbotoxin is a bigger problem, though. And it looks like... Oh my god! Okay, you know what, deck? I take, take back everything that I just ranted about you. Okay, do not make the same mistake I did. I made a mistake where I didn't I didn't retreat before I rare candy and I had a magnetism strain in the active spot, even though I could have thunder blasted him, but you know, still. Do not make the same mistake I did. Just don't do it. And we're gonna artillery first before we Professor Kikuk, because we can find a second one. That works too. I'm trying not to play as many items here, that's why I didn't Ultra Ball. I don't wanna play that many items. I guess we end him here, and if we don't hit energy, I'll be a little upset. <laughs> uh -huh. Bruh, are you serious? Oh my goodness. <sighs> How do we not hit energy? What is going on? I wish I played Magneton, so I could have just Ultra Ball for Magneton, but are you serious we don't hit energy? Now, do I want a Dragon's Pulse? I think the answer is no, because it doesn't matter if I do 40 damage to this thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Keep this hand. Oh my gosh, dude, why? We whiffed the energy. Oh no. Not good. No, and there's Garbotoxin, lovely. Alright, well, if we top deck an energy, um... No, I can't even Guzma because we'll, it's forced us to retreat to something like Octillery or Rayquaza. Oh! I mean, that works if we top deck an energy. Yeah, you know, we get an energy, we can actually take advantage of that play. That's cool. We can get rid of that thing without having to do uh, your boy. You know. I don't mind Octillery staying the active. You know, Garbodor's not doing much damage. Of course, we got a Sigmar top deck. Oh my gosh. <sighs> This deck's killing me today, guys. I told you I don't like this deck. Even when the things go well, they just they turn south so quick. I'm just do I go for field blower? I'm gonna keep this hand. I really wanna play that Guzma and knock out Garbodor. We get rid of Garbodor. Not only are we getting rid of the Garbodor, we don't have to worry about using Field Blower right away. We might need that for something else like Choice Band or I don't know, Bursting Bloom? The kitty doesn't play Bursting Bloom. But you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? We find energy, we knock out that Garbodor, and that's all I care about. Or maybe we can knock out, like, anything else, like a Drampa he puts down. Probably plays Drampa. He's got rid of two Espeon's, two Garbs, though, so he doesn't find Stretcher. He's uh, up the creek without a paddle. Trying to be positive, guys, but I'm just saying right now. Again, I haven't been having very good luck with the deck, so, uh, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep a, trying to keep a smile on my face. See, the Ultra Ball, he's probably gonna grab, like, an Eevee, but he can't even Energy Evolution, so that's pretty good. Divide doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, he can't knock out Magnemite and Artillery. So yeah, he does play Dramp because he has Poke Down. So if you got Dramp, I'll probably knock that out. Save this for a rainy day. Garboder, I mean, yeah, you can do 20 damage to me. I mean, he could Acid Spray me, but Acid Spray doesn't knock out Artillery. And then at that point, I think I have to do Guzma. I might just trap this other Trubbish. Okay, good, never mind. The Acid Spray, well, he can still Acid Spray next turn, knock me out, which isn't good because I need Artillery. Yes, so oh, nice. We got the knockout. Could just knock out his active now. But yeah, what are the odds he does? If he does, we energy retrieval the energy back. That's cool. We'll just knock out this Garboder. I get, I get him access to Lele, I guess, but I'd rather have access to uh, my uh, Mag Magnezone and my Octillery. So yeah, let's just get rid of this Garboder. Be like, yo, if you want to get Garboder back, you have to stretch it, but then you won't be able to stretch it back. Those two Pokemon, those two other attackers in your discard pile, you know what I mean? Seems good. I give him access to Energy Evolution and Lele, but I don't mind that at all. Acid Spray is worrying, but yeah, we have Energy Retrieval, so it works out in our favor. We have so many ways to get our Energy back. <laughs> Acid Spray is not a problem at all. 
Okay, an end of five. That's fine. We got artillery. But yeah, he's down a Lele. He's down two Espeons, two Garbs. If he doesn't find a stretcher here, we're in good shape. Fisherman, I mean, that works too. I mean, if <laughs> literally, if he gets heads here, we Fisherman back our entire hand. Ultra Ball. Get rid of a Choice Band, I think. It's probably going to grab Garbo. No, yeah, Dramp. Okay, I figured. That's fine. We can knock it out. Doesn't Nothing has damage on it either. Acid Spray. If that gets heads, it does not matter. It does not matter. We're going to be able to get back all that energy anyways. <laughs> My opponent's probably like, bruh. <laughs> yeah. I would have maybe preferred Guzma there, but... We get rid of a big threat off the board. <laughs> that seems even better. Um, I'm going to attach this choice band. Though I'd save it for Lele. I don't mind that. We haven't played our Professor Kiwi, so if we ever need that. We still have our Fighting Fury belt, so... I just want to draw an extra card with Octillery. Maybe we can hit Magnezone number 2. So we don't have to worry about our Magnezone going down, right? So if our Magnezone gets knocked out, we might have access to another one. Nope. Professor Kiwi, though, I guess. Cool. We'll knock him out. He might end me to 4. And then we don't have to discard... Two of our other candies and our Kikui and our other Guzma, which those world cards I'd rather not lose, so I think I'll Professor Kikui next turn. Watch, I can't. Very, I'm kind of overthinking this, but this is a very tricky situation. I don't think our uh, Rayquaza is going down, though. He can't do enough damage to me unless he belts and Kikui, so Rayquaza will be surviving this turn. Okay, Potown, unless he plays, I don't know, Multi Switch and Max Luxor, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways he can knock me out, but I'm pretty sure we'll live. He's probably in a big wheel. And, okay, thank you. Now I don't have to get rid of all these cards I needed. He's probably going to do a big wheel GX here. My best guess. And then maybe we can end him. Another fire energy. That's perfect. There's another Trampa. That's cool. That's my wind condition. Field blower. Okay. Fine. How many items? Just two? Oh my goodness. The fact that I've only played two items really sucks. He hasn't found his Reshi Stretcher yet either. So, yeah, I'm looking pretty good right now, guys. Like, even if he does find Stretcher, what does he bring back? Maybe, ugh, like, he needs his Garboders, so I don't know. Hmm. It's a lot of items, but... If it makes sure I have the double Magnezone, I think it's worth it. We can dump this whole hand here, I think I'll do it. I think it's worth it. Double mana zone's better than not having any, right? We can mana zone go down next turn. Uh, I guess we super rod, sure. That kind of sucks. We don't get other fishermen, but it's cool. We'll go abyssal hand here, and yeah. Uh oh, I think nah, that did screw me over. Oh, I shouldn't have done the super rod. Rip me. We didn't get an end either. We haven't played one yet. No, we have. Oh, we've played enough items. No, no, no. Wait, yeah, well, okay, no. We've only played four, so it's not one shot in my other equation. Yeah, rip. Alright, I think we're gonna have to just pass. That sucks. But again, he doesn't have any guards left. So, I don't know if he can even evolve and take damage, unless he stretchers. He probably got it, though. He big wheel for 10. I'm not going to be surprised if he doesn't find it. The whiff, though. I'm at, I told you, man. This deck doesn't like me today. That sucks. If I didn't do Super Rod, we would have had the uh, we would have the KO here. But, you know, it's whatever. Plus, Rayquaza goes down. We always have Tapu Koko, which one-shots Garboder also. We have Tapu Thunder, which is also kind of good, so I'm not complaining. A halt. That, you, you, <laughs> he big wheeled for 10, only just put down a Trubbish. That tells me he does not have a very good hand or even very good luck. He can knock me out, but yeah, that sucks. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. Alright, let's see what we draw here. Field blower, sure. I don't I mean that puts me in range of being knocked out, but at that point I think it's fine. Again, he has two garbs, he's got no garbs left. Who cares? Guess we'll get back. We can knock. Okay, we can knock him out this way. That's just fine. We can knock him out this way. We can, cause it needs two lightning, not three. So we can actually just do this instead. And then we don't have to put down Coco right away, which I'd rather not do. Just in case. Might need my Lele. 
Alright, never mind. Um, okay. Let's just sky judge. I'm gonna keep the choice band just in case Nespion comes down, but we will take him out. And at this point, my opponent, best he can do is knock out Rayquaza, but if he does that, we got Tapu Coco. Floatstone, Remoraid. Okay, those are cards I didn't really need. Maybe I should have put down Tapu Coco. If he ends me to two and Noctillers and give me what I need, that's bad. If he doesn't find his Rescue Stretcher, though, I think our Rayquaza is not getting knocked out. Uh, we still have our other Goose. Oh no, can't mind. So it looks like at this point, we just have to keep knocking out his active to win the game. So we're out of Goosemus, but he's out of Goosemus too, I think. He's out of Choice Bands too, so that Tackle Goku can't get me one shot by Berserk. And I doubt he plays Fresh QE. So yeah, it looks good. He's then on. Okay, there's Stretcher. So we're gonna get knocked out by Garboder, unfortunately, but. Might be able to follow up with a knockout with our Coco, depending on how this goes. We, got, we haven't played our Kikui, right? Okay, so maybe we can even knock him out Thunder Blast for us or Kikui. Yeah, the fact that you just stretch her for that is good, because, yeah, it doesn't have Garb Odor. And end of two. I should have put Coco down, man. Should have done it. We lost that Floatstone, which is also kind of important. Two Ultra Balls, I mean, sure. That's fine. Yeah, I can still get Tapu Coco. Bring out Magna Zone here. Okay, so bring out the zone. Because we are in the zone. Okay, that's good. Something I didn't want to draw in. Or something yeah, I wanted, didn't need anymore. I'm just going to Lele here. For Sycamore. How, how many energies do we have left? Six. How many energy retrieval? Two. Hmm. Alright, I'm still going to Lele for Sycamore. I could, you know, obviously grab Coco, Abyssal Hand for 5, hope for the best, but I'm just going to play it straight and just try and get the knockout here. Hopefully it pays off. How many Ultra Balls do we have left? One? I don't know if it's in the deck, but if it is, then that's another odds. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I could have Abyssal Hand. Oh, never mind, we got him, we got him. Hashtag Gaudi. Alright, I'm just going to play it safe and attach all the energy to Magnetism first, just in case. I'm even gonna put one energy on my uh I guess we'll attach the magnet zone, sure. I don't know. I guess. I'm again, you know, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made against Lapras. I'm gonna put all the energy down, so in case one of our I don't know, it doesn't matter, I guess, but it's fine. Still do it. And we will Tapu Coco GX here. And here we go, folks. We are going to KO the big bad Garboder. Now, I, we're not going to tap with Thunder him next turn. One energy, we're not going to be able to take him out. Even, well, no, yeah, okay, wait, 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 maybe we can find Choice Band. I don't know if we have any left, though. And here we go, Sky High Claws for the knockout on Garboder. And I don't know if my opponent has any stretchers left to be able to respond, but I don't know if we have enough items. That's 40, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. 40, 160. Okay, if he finds a Garboder, we're dead. But no, he's committing to Drampa. He's out of choice band, so I don't think he can knock us out. Even if he does, we have Fisherman and Rayquaza in our hand. And that will wrap up the game. And yeah, that is indeed match. Actually, wait, no, it's not. Is it? No, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, we might have game here. We need to be really lucky, though. We're going to do Professor Kikyu. We just need to find a choice band. I don't know if we have any left. We have one left. We could have even found Fighting Fury Bolt. Oh no. Rip, we don't have the win. Hmm. Can't deny him prizes either. Rip me. He's still not knocking me out though. He's still only doing 80. And again, he doesn't have any evolutions left, so... That's fine. What does Sky High Claws him and say? Well, bruh, if you don't uh, find anything, we win the game. We even have our baby Coco left, so if we want to fly and flip finish him off that way, it's fine. Thought we had the win there, but we didn't, but it's all good. We, we basically have the win here, unless he retreats, but again, we have one prize. The only thing he can really do is maybe go into Lele and hope we don't find our choice band. It looks like he's doing that. Well, well no, okay, Lele can knock me out, but yeah, then we have Rayquaza in its game, so yeah, it's good. Rayquaza's game. There we go, energy drive for the KO, but folks, my boy Rayquaza just... He's hungry, and hopefully my opponent does not concede. I think this will be the last match in the video. I, I wasn't having good luck with this deck, but I still kind of like this deck. I I don't know. It's a fun deck to play. 
I wasn't having much luck with it. Maybe you can have better luck with me. Who knows? We're going to Fisherman here for the full package. Beating your boy Garboder. Your boy Guzma, your boy Garboder. Be nice to wrap up with Guzma, but whatever. All right, so it's all good. Please don't concede so I can uh, get the satisfying last-minute KO with the main star of the deck. Well played. Well played, a good sir. I think, really, we got super lucky the fact that he didn't have the, um, the stretcher. He got it a little late. Not to mention... Um, you have a good deck too, boy. Um, I think, yeah, the fact that he didn't get the, um, discard all his Pokemon, that's huge. So, hit him with a heart before we wrap this video up. And I think I'll wrap it up. Maybe we'll get enough coins to be able to buy a pack. I think we only maybe have 100 coins, 81. Actually, we had 81, never mind. Uh, maybe we can get, uh, like, a big 100 coins out of this. Let's see. Oh, and do we? 25. All right, rip. Do we have enough to buy a pack? We don't. All right. Well, yeah. I think I'll wrap up the day's video, guys. We did have some good luck with this deck. Really, I, I don't know what else you could really change about this list. We didn't play against Gardevoir. I mean, Gardevoir. Okay, Gardevoir was a matchup that I was kind of hoping for, uh, just because I wanted to show off the Tapu Koko and Kakui stuff in the deck. I mean, we kind of used we used Kakui a few times, I guess. Sure. Um, but yeah, I do like this deck. Again, I feel like its matchups are okay. Its Ghost Spot Garp matchups a little awkward. Because if you don't find your choice band and then garb you, you're kind of screwed. Overall, though, this was a pretty good uh, deck. I, I did really like it. Um, I have some bad luck with it, but probably just me. I think this list is good. Maybe you can just take out the Coco. But again, I, we didn't get to play a test against Gardevoir. If we got a game against Gardevoir, you guys can always find a match against Gardevoir, right? Right, if you guys can find a game against Gardevoir, then you can probably take advantage of Flying Flip and Rayquaza with a choice band or Rayquaza finding your boat, right? So you can do a lot of things. I think you could just keep the baby Coco for now. If you want to take it out, maybe throw in a baby Mew. Baby Mew would be good. Um, there's a lot of hype for Mewtwo GX right now. I didn't think that card get hype. It is getting hype. So you can run baby Mew in the deck. You can also run um, maybe, I don't know, Clefairy, just a metronome for the memes. You can run Pikachu EX if you want. Pikachu's pretty lit. Um, you can even run like a 1-1 one -one Alolan Raichu line over uh, the Tapu Cocos if you want. Like if you're really going for that. You can also throw in... Uh, I'm just trying to think of other tech cards, right? You got um, Pikachu, we got Clefairy, Baby Mew. Uh, man, what else? I don't know. I get we had a Lolan Raichu. Um, man, I don't know. Let's look at some lightning types. Um, just before we wrap this video, but yeah, I think yeah, it'll wrap. We can run Jolteon. Volcanion can struggle against the Jolteon if they don't have Salazzle. Some lists do, some lists don't. It's up to you if you want to play Jolteon or not. That's not a bad card. It kind of gives you the auto win against Volk in some situations, but the problem with that, um, Jolteon's not good in any other matchup other than just having that free tree cost. But you'd rather have the Floatstone or the Mega Knight. Not really many other lightning types that I can think of. Pikachu. I do like the Pikachu, but it kind of goes with this theme of not having really many good sturdy attackers, right? Rayquaza's only got 120. Pikachu's just got 10 more HP. It's still not a good stretch. I still don't think Pikachu is the greatest card in this deck. It's probably just a deck. The better by itself is a deck. So I don't know. Um, yeah, that's really about it, honestly. Um, but yeah, this will wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. And if by the time this goes up, I have 2,000 subs. Or when this video is up, I have hit 2K subs from this video alone. Thank you, guys, so much. It really means a lot to me. We're just going to keep grinding every single day until we get to i don't know 20 million subs we're not gonna get there but you know what i mean right we're gonna keep grinding thank guys for all the support thank guys for all the love and thank you guys for 2k subs it does mean a lot to me it really does it makes me pretty dang happy and it does put a smile on my face so <laughs> thanks guys <laughs> see you guys later peace out